Remember, when you buy such fragile things, you may have to ship it someday. If you'd like to try to win a green jumping jack, watch for this green cell phone holder to pop up later in this video and comment the minutes and the seconds that you see it. Temptation, many casseroles, individual casseroles. I want to make a correction in this video. I actually paid 50 cents each for these bowls, $2 total. Remember, when you buy such fragile things, you may have to ship it someday, and that day has come for these four temptations. Terra is the style, little ovenware, individual casserole dishes, but they did sell for $30 plus shipping. Yes, the shipping is pretty high. It's going to California. Came to $58.08, and I need to get these packed, all four of them. Come join me. I'll show you how I'll do it. I always think it's best to tackle one, yes one, not, not four, before getting too stressed out. Let's focus on this one little mini casserole dish. Let's get this one prepped for shipping and then we'll do the others. And I'm going to start with a sheet of tissue paper. And another piece for the lid. I'm going to turn the lid upside down and I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to tape these two together. I'm just using masking tape from my large dispenser here and the link is in the description below this video. Anything that you purchase from my pack and ship supplies helps support my channel, but it doesn't cost any more for you. All right, well, we know tissue paper is not enough packing, is it? We need some bubble wrap. Got two sheets of bubble wrap. Let's tape it. And on the ends, we'll fold the top down, and bottom up. Same thing on the other end. Top down, bottom up, and tape it. Well, that's pretty good. Now let's repeat that process for the other three. And I'll fast forward through this. Don't worry. I'll fast forward. Two down, two to go. I've decided to go a step further. I'm going to bubble wrap two of these together. I think by doing so it will help keep them from shifting in the box. I'm turning one upside down so it's lid to lid because that seems to be a flatter surface. So I've got a bottom and a bottom with the lids together. And if you haven't seen my videos before, the reason I started using the masking tape is because it's a lot less expensive than my scotch tape, but at the same time, scotch is the only brand that I use because it's the only one I trust, the heavy duty shipping tape. And I have another dispenser for that tape and the link is down below in the description. But this is cheaper and it also makes it easier, I think, for the buyer to see exactly where they need to pull the tape. All right, I like that. Let's do that again with this stack. Let's turn, these, turn this upside down. I'm not worrying about the center seam on these because I have a lot of bubble wrap already on the dishes. And I'll have more packing material underneath. Now 
now I have two packets. We're just a little over 11 inches now and the height is still at about six, so we're good. Good for that 12 by 12 by eight box that I'm going to use. I'm going to apply my thank you label that I run 30 up on a sheet of labels. It just says, thank you, enjoy, shop again soon. And I'm going to put one on each packet just because it was a nice sale. I'll be right back with the box. Keep watching. This is a USPS free priority mail, regular priority mailbox, 12 by 12 by eight. Let me get it assembled. I never trust the side seams, so I put some tape on here and I cross taped the bottom. So here's my box. Let's see how it's going to fit. Got two packages, identical size, and they fit fairly snug side by side. But I need a little more packing material. You can see I have some open area here. So what can we use? I'm going to use some air pillows, and these are also in my links below. I love these things. I love them much better than using uh, styrofoam peanuts. They're working out really well. So if you're interested in these, they're pretty cheap. I think it's only, I don't know, less than $15 for a huge bag of them. I think I need two four-piece sections. Take these back out. Put these in the bottom, like so. And before I put these back in, I'm going to line some more bubble wrap going both directions. We've got three pieces this way and two that way. Let's see if I can do this at the same time carefully. So just going to barely make it. Pretty good. I have some area here that I need to fill in and I can do that with more air pillows. I tear off four again. So easy to work with. Put four here and try for four on the other end. Lifting this up just slightly. That's pretty good. I don't need any on the sides here, but I do need something else on top. I, I don't think I have any more room for the air pillows. There's not enough height. There's not enough depth, but I might be able to fit a couple more sheets of bubble wrap. Let's do a test. Test shake. I'm hearing a little bit, but I don't feel the item really moving. I just hear the air bubbles squishing around a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to add one more piece. And these air pillows, by the way, are really good quality. Nicely filled. Someday I might buy a machine and make my own, but for now I'm happy with these for the price. Let's try this again. Do the shake, much better. I like that, let's get it taped up. I like to use these smaller dispensers when I'm taping my box versus my big dispenser. I use it sometimes for uh, the side seams and things like that. I find this size very manageable. I do like to push the box together as much as possible. Press down your tape. And you can add tape on these seams too. I might for this because there's a lot of weight to it. For lighter weight things, I don't do this. And let's turn it upside down and do the same thing at the bottom. And here's a little tip for you so you don't lose the end of your tape. Just use a paper clip and put it on the end of your tape. It works great. I like to write the buyers first and last initial in the state where the package is going to. These temptations are going out to JS in California. Let's get it in the mail. And congratulations to S Latina who won the blue jumping jack from my last pack and ship video. Please email me your information. My email is in the description below the video. Congratulations. And if you're interested in my go-to pack and ship supplies, check for the links below this video. I have links for my bubble wrap, my tape, my air pillows, and much more. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.